Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool trim line. This is a wall trim line and this is lens equipment from Georgia. And so basically what we want to do is this is the initial checkout and I want to show you the telephone. It's very cool pink color and I want to give you a look at this telephone. And it's in good condition. It looks like it might have been pulled back into the factory and redone at some time. I want to give you a look at the base. We have the cover off. So it's basically been repainted. I want to show you the inside of the telephone. This would be the wiring block. Now he's got a note with this phone. We just did a candlestick telephone for Len. And he has some issues. He wrote about this uh, telephone and it's keeping the other telephones off hook at his home, I believe. And we have an issue here with our modular port adapter that would plug in when you uh, go ahead and hang this telephone on the wall jack and then you kind of pull it down and it locks into place. And if you notice, I don't think that the video will pick it up, but uh, there's a lot of corrosion here on these pins. So that's going to be an issue. And we want to check for other problems. We already cleaned the connections on both ends of the handset cord and our prongs on our uh, modular ports at both ends. And we want to show you something here real quick. I have our handset. I have a pickup. And this pickup is amplified. And that's so that you can hear the audio when uh, we're testing telephones and when we're working on telephones. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on our amplifier. I'm going to set the handset down on the pickup. We want to connect our unit up. And I want to show you something. Now I'm going to make another connection that I actually cut because if this were still connected this is what we would get. I'm going to hang the telephone up, but as you can see the analyzer still got the red light going, so the analyzer is still seized. It never hung up. So that's what it's doing at Lynn's home. It's hanging the line open. That red light on the analyzer should go out. If I pull this jumper, it does hang up. I just put the jumper back and it sees the analyzer again. And this is exactly what he was experiencing at his home. And we want to listen for static again. It'll start here in a second. You can hear how that pulls it down. We'll try to get it to reproduce the static again. When I clamp onto the wire, you can actually hear it pull it down. We'll do this. It never unseized the analyzer when I hung the hook switch up. So although we may not be getting static at this time, it's still, when I hang up or take the wire off, you can hear that dial tone take a dive when I clamp onto it. And now our static is starting again. And you see how the dial tone came up. We're going to hang the unit up again. The analyzer never uh, unseized, so it's still off hook, basically.
and then the static will come and go. So what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and unplug the unit, is a bad modular port plug and we want to change that. Also want to go through some other things on this telephone. I want to go through all of our connections here. I want to make sure everything's proper and everything's in good condition. We already cleaned our handset cord connections and the modular port at both ends. We uh, already talked about that. I want to go into the handset. I want to make sure that all the solder on the board and all the connections are good also. And we're going to go ahead and take a short break and we're going to get a start on this telephone and we'll come back and get some more video on our final check. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and went through the handset, wanted to make sure all the connections were proper and check the hook switch because there is a hook switch, a flash on this handset and we went ahead and touched up some solder in that PC board. We also finished off the base. We made sure all those connections were proper, went through the hook switch at the base. Like earlier, we mentioned that we took care of the connections and the plugs and cleaned them on the handset cord and the modular ports. We went ahead and replaced the modular line port. This one has corrosion built up on it, and that's what was causing the static sensation and shorting the line out. So we want to go ahead and set that to the side. That's of no use to us. We want to start our final checks. We have a wall plate here that this telephone would uh, go on to and accept. And so it doesn't have the cosmetic plate on it, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't need it. And so what we want to do is we want to show you our replacement here. And we want to start down at the bottom. That's uh, where you want to plug it in at. And then you would pull the telephone down and that would allow the telephone to hang on the wall. When you remove it, you push it up and pull it apart. We want to start out with this modular port in the down position. Plug it in and pull it down. So we're ready to go now. We can start our final checks. I want to go ahead and ring the unit real quick with the analyzer here. We're going to let that go a few times. If there was any crossing of voltage, it would go ahead and short the line right now. Because with the ring cycle, it's a higher voltage, an AC voltage that comes across the line. I'll let it go one more time. We'll turn on our amplifier and give you dial tone. And we'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I want to end in a 2. I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has transmit and receive. We can go ahead and push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone and we'll call that number. Good afternoon. When you need body work on your car, think of Offenberg Body Shop, 901 South Illinois, Belleville. Today is Saturday, January 3rd. The time is 3.17. Current temperature at 51 degrees. Occasional rain today, a high in about 40s. Mostly cloudy tonight, 20% chance of rain, lows around 30. On Sunday, mostly cloudy with a chance of a flurry in the morning. Partly sunny in the afternoon, a high in the low 30s. Northwest winds gusting to 30. Okay, we can hang up and we can call my number and it'll be busy.
we'll give you some dial tone and we'll call that number. Turn off our amplifier, hang the unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Lynn and he can enjoy this trim line. It's a very cool color and they're highly collectible, these trim lines. Uh, they were made really well and I'm sure this telephone's going to look great no matter where he decides to use it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.